Hello, friends, Romans, and also countrymen. You can see neither me or Sharkadile's face, but that's because we have this cool setup here today. Because mm -hmm. we're playing Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering. Um, so the ultimate of all. We've got games. we've got the overhead cam, which you are seeing right now, and then you we've got the other table cam, which is going to look real sexy. So, uh, let's yeah, let's just get going. Let's start this this game of magic. Okay, yeah, we've already shuffled and cut, so our decks are primed. I, I may you're, I may make an effort like to lean in a little deck. bit to, to let you see what I got going on. Um, maybe pop something over the camera once in a while. Check this out. Yeah, I, there's, there's one really killer card in there that I kind of hope pops up. I was like, because I just saw a leaf through your deck, and I was going like, ooh, that could make the game interesting yeah, right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what we should do? Here. All right. Oh, to see who goes first? Yeah. 17. I, um, looks like I get a hit here. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and throw out a mountain here, as you might have expected. As, as you do. All right. Um, well, in that case, just a swamp here. I'm going to... Uh, I'll put it over here. So we have opposing... Posing Ooh, yeah, but looks going on there. I am going to tap, tap my mountain here and uh, just uh, start the game with a little sorcery. You know, so um, I guess it's going to be three damage on you. Gotta love my lightning bolts. So that's just straight three just damage? Three damage to target creature or player. Alright. Little lightning bolt in your face. Fine, 17, yeah. So, um, I'm going to play another swamp. So, I really should be stacking these. Okay. Ah, just what I needed. Another mountain here, of course. I guess I'll be tapping my mountains here. And uh, I'm going to pop out the Hellspark Elemental, which does actually have haste. I'm going to pop right off with a little bit of tramp, uh, trample haste, although you don't have any creatures for me to trample with. All right, all right. Um, so for... So it's three damage, actually. So uh, it's like we know who's winning so far. So it would seem. He's a he's a person trouble. Ah. Every time you do that, it makes my editing job harder. Oh really? <laughs> Every time you do that, I have to cut to that camera. First thing, play another swamp. Um, well, he's got more land power than I do. So. That is true. Uh, and I'm also going to use um, two swamps. Tap those. To play Doom Blade. Oh man! Um, so that destroys your creature instantly. Unfortunately, I seem to be a land drive, but I'll at least untap my two I have, and uh, as it would turn out, tap him again and play another Hellspark Elemental. So this guy's got haste as well. So I'm just going to be barreling through since you don't have any creatures. Uh, All right, so we're down to. It's going to be eleven health. I remember, yeah, as I, I believe. Yeah, we're down to eleven. We're not doing so great. Danger, here. danger. I don't like that. Untap. The swamps, the swampy swamps, and we'll play a mountain. Ooh. That's what I've been looking for. We're gonna tap the mountain and the swamp, and we're gonna play Gore House Chainwalker. Ooh, gosh, what a gross dude! Man. Yeah. So, uh, he has unleash. So uh, he enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter on him, but he, do he does have summoning sickness. Mm, okay, so I don't know if we're about him just yet. I'm, uh, let's see, yeah, put this land here, Teetering Peak, sort of a variation on the mountain, which I kind of like when I was leafing through this deck. Um, so when Teetering Peak enters the battlefield, target creature pl gets plus 2, plus 0 until end of turn. And it's a mountain. So basically this guy's a 5-1 for this turn. Oh, well, also this enters tap, so I can't use it this turn. I think I might unleash some of my latent mountain power here and tap tap both of these. Uh, put them both in my pool here, and I'm gonna play two instants, both lightning bolts, for a total of six damage. But I might just want to take take him out of the way right now with one of these lightning bolts because it's target creature or player. So, mm. uh, in fact, you know, since I got a couple out in the field, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna. Sorry, you didn't even get to use him really, but I'm going to take him out, All right. and uh, then I'm going to do three damage to you with this guy, and also attack, 
for five damage with his uh, plus two from the tr from the, the peaks. So we're down to what is that? So I just did eight to you. I don't know. I wouldn't like that if I were you. No, especially. I'm not. I'm not so jazzed about it. This is, <laughs> this is a quick game. We'll yeah. see how it goes, though. You still got three life. I don't think. We'll you, see. You could do it. You we'll could make it. We'll <laughs> see. I'm now the underdog. He's so. uh, three power here. So you know, I mean, next turn, if you don't get something out to block me, uh, we'll see what yeah, happens. Yeah, I don't know. Let's untap these and play another swamp. You got plenty of land, I'll tell you that. Yeah, that's very true. We are going to tap two swamps. <laughs> we are going to discard two cards here. Um, and I'm going to play Zombie Infestation. Oh man, Zombie so Infestation. Oh. I discard two cards and put a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature on the battlefield. So I'm going to use that card to represent the 2-2 two -two zombie. Fair enough. Do this and these. We're gonna tap Ooh, everything. Tap everything. I'm gonna play Hellhole Flailer. Um, also, a guy I don't really want to see. In, in dark he world. also has Unleash, but I'm not going to use it. Oh, that doesn't really spell anything good for you. Sorry, I just uh, bring that out there. All right, so um, now I, now this guy is stacking his mountain here. All right, I might I might do a couple things here just to just to make it a little fun on the last turn. The last um, turn. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did I say that? Excuse uh -oh. me. <laughs> uh oh. I, uh, that doesn't sound good for me. What did I? I don't think I said that. Did I say that? Okay, I'm gonna tap everything here. And um. Well, honestly, what's the point? Actually, I, you know, I, I mean, if I'm gonna use it, I might as well just I'll tap my teaming peaks here, and I got a lightning bolt. So uh. Three damage to target player. <laughs> well, there it is. Yeah, I. Uh, sorry, That's man. That's game. I, uh, well, yeah. GG. GG. I, uh, and I actually only had 20 health, so, uh, yeah, you, that were, pretty, was you were pretty on the defensive game. the whole time. Flawless victory, <laughs> as it were. Ooh, you know, it's all, it's all in those lightning bolts. Yeah. It's essentially my Hadouken. I just spam repeatedly in this yeah. case. So, uh, <laughs> I'd like to thank you guys for watching me get my ass handed to me in the wonderful game of Magic the Gathering. I had some good draws. You know, it's it's interesting really how um sometimes those those heavy like land builds, you know, with like forests or uh you know, a forest is like the the classic example of the heavy land builds, but like um you know, some of those like really big creatures that you can put out there can just devastate, but if you can't get them out there, these little decks like these uh these fast corner mountains or fast like yeah, white decks, you know, they can just like barrel through you and like hit you with sorceries and stuff. Yeah, that's that's why and, uh, I tend to prefer a uh, green deck because well, green white um because there's some green white's a really cool combo. There's like there's some combo. cool things you can do um one of one of my favorite decks that I've ever played was full of um Spells that would allow you to bring monsters back, as well as uh, yeah, no, that's one of the nice creatures. Black. Creatures black that black. would summon uh, mana, and so you could basically oh, hmm. you could build up this powerhouse. And so if you kind of if you got to that point, you were unstoppable. Yeah. But you hmm. need like all you needed was just to build up this base, and then as soon as you put, like played one of those creatures, you could just continually tap it for mana. Yeah, which is really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to rate, comment, and also subscribe. And check out our website, namelesspixel.net, where we post mm -hmm. videos, where, where I post videos, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And um, on Wednesdays and Saturdays, the show Situationally Mediocre, which is run by my friends uh, Reginald McMuffin and... Evanescent Hero, um, that is Wednesdays and Saturdays, and without further ado, goodbye. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you on the second episode of Magic, Never which I'm announcing right now, where we swap decks, and we'll see what <laughs> happens then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>